The U.S. will do whatever necessary to prevent Iranian weapons from reaching the rebels. It comes as Shiite rebels linked to Iran have reportedly taken control of a military brigade in central Yemen. Joining us from Capitol Hill, former Air Force pilot and current member of the Air National Guard, Republican Congressman Adam Kinziger of Illinois. Good to have you on board, sir. Hey, thanks. Good to be here. Congressman, how concerned are you uh, with this latest development? Look, everything's really concerning in, in Yemen, and this is what we see with Iran and their destabilization of the Middle East is, you know, when, when Yemen, the legitimate government of Yemen, and by the way, I was in Yemen about a year and a half ago, and we were pretty optimistic at that time about our ability to root out al-Qaeda, to work with the Yemeni's government. When the government was basically toppled for all intents and purposes, you now have basically the Wild West there. You have what you have in Syria. You have what you had in Afghanistan pre-9-11, which is an opportunity for a, you know, a bad bacteria like al-Qaeda to move into Yemen and basically establish themselves and, and we've seen that so this destabilization of Yemen is is very concerning not just for Iranian influence but because of the presence of al-Qaeda and extremists in that area and, so, and can you explain to Americans that watch wake up and watch TV day in and day out and hear about problems in Syria and problems in Iraq and problems with ISIS and I could go down the list can you explain why terror experts are particularly concerned about unrest in Yemen? Yeah, I mean, look, Yemen is basically, it's right next to, obviously, Saudi Arabia. It's right next to a lot of our allies in the Arabian Peninsula. Uh, Yemen has been a problem for a very long time. Instability there can spill out all across the region. So think about, I mean, first off, think about the USS Cole bombing, the, uh, the, the, all the terrorist attacks in that region. But think about Saudi Arabia. If this spills into Saudi Arabia, I had somebody once describe to me that Saudi Arabia is almost too big to fail because you think mm. about the holy sites that are there. You think about if there's instability, the, you know, frankly, the Saudi government can walk into these holy right. sites and you would have a Sunni-Shia conflict bigger than anything we could ever imagine. And, so it's very scary. And Al Hunt, uh, many experts also believe that uh, Al-Qaeda in Yemen uh, is focused on causing great damage to the United States and kill yeah. as many Americans as they can and think they basically have the best inside track to do that. Yeah, and they've done it. And, and I mean, you look at ISIS. ISIS's job is to establish a caliphate. A terrible organization needs rolled back and crushed. Uh, Al Qaeda's sole job, AQAP, is to attack American targets, to attack Western allies, and to kill innocent people. Right. Both are absolutely terrible organizations, but this one's especially viral. Al Hunt's where this Al. Well, yeah, you, I think the congressman is absolutely right. You, you, you not only have uh, uh, al-Qaeda on the peninsula and ISIS, uh, you also have the uh, Iranian-backed uh, Houthis, who also are not exactly a, a benign force. So it's, it, it is just a, it's terribly important, and it's a, it's, a, it's a really dangerous place. All right, Congressman Adam Kinzinger, thank you so much for being on the you show bet. this morning. Congress